Right, if you watch, uh, I've slowed it down, you can see transmissions Whoa. there going over South America, yeah? Keep watching it, I've slowed it down a bit more in the second clip. And it's come from the Antarct Antarctic regions. This was in August when the tide receded around South America. And when I looked at it, I could see these transmissions on the minute map. I mean, I've been looking at these maps anyway, but not not that uh, actual related to this. But this is this is the things I've been looking at here. You see that there? Whoa! Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Look, it always, it always seems to hit the, the bottom of America there. Yeah, man. California, well, what regions out there? Is that all to do with the missing water then? The same time, uh, well, yeah. When the water went out, you know, them transmissions were going on. The the, the large one you've seen there was actually from last year. It was something else I was looking at. And then, of course, you can see these transmissions here, which is what happened when the tide receded in South America. So, if the tides receded anywhere else, the first place you want to be looking is on the mimic maps and see if there's any of this activity going on. What what are the uh, colors actually meaning? Is that heat or temperature? Yeah. To me, it looks like microwave transmissions. And if you look down here, see these dimples in the seabed? Yeah. On the bottom right, it's coming from this region uh, uh, around Antarctica. On Google Earth. And it's, it's some kind of a transmitting array. You know, that's, so that's that not sounds, random. That, that sounds like they're messing around with one of the pillars. Ethics with the yeah. pillars. Uh, that's the left pillar, indeed. It seems to be an array of some kind and it transmits up this direction. And when it was doing this, that's when the tides recede in August from around South America. So if there's any more of the activity of receding tides, the first place we should be looking is the mimic map and see if there's any of this going on in the region where the tides are receding. You know, just to see if it's related. It might not yeah, be. Yeah. It just comes across as strange things like this are happening. I mean, that's, that's quite vast. Whatever that is, it's one one hell of a size array, array of sending signals up here. I'm sure, the, the, it's on the microwave frequencies. But the other the other large thing you see in the video. Yeah, yeah can we see the video, video again? There. Yeah, I'll just rewind it. See, that's the transmissions on the microwave frequency. These things here, you can see them now. <clears throat> well. Are we looking at temperature maps? Yeah, it's it's like for tornadoes and hurricanes, but it's strangely it's picking up these here, these transmissions coming from Antarctica. They're, they're a typical there, yeah. And then a sort of reflection, it seems. Yeah, it's it's definitely picking up on the weather maps. Comes from last year sometime. This is something else I was looking at. But I'm now wondering, you know, I'll just pause it there if I can catch it. You, whoa. From the other day then, and that's from no. before. This is from last year. I'm pretty sure whatever this thing is, it's going on regular as well. You know, I've just been looking back in the history on the Mimic site. Yeah. This, oh. that, thing, that is huge, whatever that is. Yeah. It doesn't look like a microwave transmission when you look at the other type of signal it picked up, so I have no idea what this is. Total pressure. Oh, what a temperature are we looking at? Huh? So that's seawater. Yeah, this is the sea. Uh, obviously, temperatures. I'm pretty sure it's for it's for picking up cyclones and tornadoes. This weather map. That is huge. Yeah, look at the size of this thing. You know, this, this is happening in regular. Wherever this is, I've seen a few of these on the Mimic Max uh, going back. That's sort of from. Does it start there? Zero point, isn't there? Series by Africa that you and Chris were looking at. Yeah, it's a little to the right though, but it is just through the zero point of the and the Lima crossing. So this is a zero point energy scalar wave technology Tesla was talking about. Hmm? No, we mean the zero point on the map. Oh, okay. <laughs> but. Mike was talking about zero point as this. <coughs> explain, explain that, Mike. Well, zero point uh, scalar wave is what Tesla was looking into. Uh, supposedly, you know, the government dismissed Tesla, but the CIA hasn't dismissed Tesla. And the theory is that 
with this technology, you can tap into a power source that is, that is unlimited. And you can create, because it would take this kind of power to affect the, it looks like the whole uh, Pacific and uh, Atlantic Ocean there. And, and that's what we're seeing. We're seeing a whole ocean affected by some massive source of power coming from somewhere. And I think FPV uh, has possibly shown us where they are at least tapping into this at, at, at the pole somewhere. Mm, no wonder we all feel strange when they're messing around with all that. Yeah, yeah that seems to be this kind of emotion. Common, a common uh, appearance. Well, you can see the effects of this thing. I mean, this is yeah. this is crazy stuff here. This is science fiction. I mean, look look at the width of that signal. It's covering the whole of South America, and it's concentrated going into the bottom of USA, where it, where it would, where it would end. It's somewhere from this area, the Californian coastline, is it? So yeah, these mimic maps need uh, studied a bit more, especially w when you see that very large thing going on. I see if that's coming from the same area. And it's that the either large, way, either large way, this ones, is I haven't seen as many of them as I'm seeing of these things here. Asking um, FPV series and Mike, well, even Patricia and Frankie, do you think this is all mani been manipulated or is a natural thing? Frost. Yes, manipulated in my opinion. Yeah, manipulated. Yeah, we're we're well, not going to see this kind of power surge in a natural phenomenon, and ne we've never seen the shores sucked away from uh, Tampa in, in the Bahamas like we have recently here, and uh, last year I guess uh, South America. So this is not natural. This is not a natural phenomena. And the kind of power that I'm seeing displayed here is straight out of Tesla's book. And, uh, and somehow they're taking this wave, and I don't know what they're doing to the magnetic field here, because it, you know we have a, a positive and negative that cuts down the center. I don't know what they're doing that with uh, in directing this energy uh, with, with the sound propagation that they've listed in some of their other documents. But this is pretty, uh, pretty impressive. Right, so that signal that was coming from Antarctica, you can see on this bit here, it's actually been transmitted to Hawaii, this little group of islands here. And then it changes into another kind of signal, if you want to see that. You have to look, you have to watch it a few times and you'll see it. You can see the signal come up, hits Hawaii, and it converts into a different type of signal, which seems to be that thicker band that we noticed on the earlier clip. Did you see it? Oh, yeah. Huh? Those are even interfering. The signal gets to a Y, then it seems to change into something else. Reflected or something. Yeah. yeah. Right, I'll show you what's at a Y in actually. Here we go. This is where the signal is hitting. We're going to be in the eye of Hawaii. <laughs> you see that? That's a head with an eye. And again, look, you got. Negative strike, positive strike here. Yeah, anyway, worry. into the positive strike. See so who's hiding in here. Observatories. Uh, Telescope facility. <laughs> yeah. a bunch it's of all a mess I said though. Let's go. So the signal seemed to be coming to this region and then deflecting towards the stairs. Not a double ball there? Or is that still an observer too? Observer. Yeah, you might wonder these. Now look, there's an, there's an array. That would be capable of receiving the signal. So millimeter array. And if that's where the signal was heading for this place, and then it towards the states as something else. Yeah. These are the positive strikes that uh, Chris was talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny these guys are just sitting all all on top of them, isn't it? Yeah. 
positive strikes off the sun will be a negative strike off the moon but anyway that's where the signal seems to be heading this region and then retransmitting back towards the states as something else just be something to do with communications with sir. I don't know. I've never seen signal like that before. Very large and direct, it concentrated coming towards this area. Over here somewhere. So that was oh. just a little update of where it was where it seems to be heading. Where it seems to be hitting this area here. And deflecting that way somewhere. You can stop presenting us now, Kevin. I'll just a little update on that signal.